Shakespeare said it best. The acts of perversion by wicked carnal thrill-seekers of vile skullduggery is much ado about nothing. Boning people out of passion is so base, primal, heathen, and revolting. It reminds me of the lesser times during barbaric periods of war where people's skulls were left on spikes at city gates to ward off evildoers. But thankfully, in the 21st century, everyone is much more chilled and chilled out. It's wonderful to be chillaxing here with the chill brothers in the chill land of chilling a little. So hi and welcome. I'm only joking. I knew everything at the age of four. That's when I first gleaned some kind of omniscient knowledge of reality and how to negotiate it. The problem was, while eating my father's rusks, I couldn't define it at that age in my tender knowledge of the tongue's linguistics, or, if you will, utilization of the vernacular and the parlance of the contemporary vernacular within the idiom of the Anglophilic language. I was naive. I could hardly walk, run, let alone somersault. I was but a tot, jangling in my neurosis, seeing the divinity beyond me in a glory of heavenly wonder, in my eyes shining like a beacon to soul life and hope and providence of a way, providence of a destiny with God. A knowledge, something so profound, so real, so delicate, so purposeful, so true, that I was bound to survive in fortitude and hope and diction and delectation if I could just explain why I called soldiers totties when I was at that age. It was an error. Soldiers are not called totties. Sweetie Tots, whatever they were called, Sweetie Pops or Sweetie Tots, there was a sweet called Sweet Totties or Sweetie Tots or something. They were sweeties. They were not soldiers. Now I can imagine, I realised, I must have seen some war film when I was a kid and then lined up my, oh, Jelly Tots, that's what they're called. I must have lined up my Jelly Tots into artillery positions and then munched on them in a glorious, sweet, saccharine, embrace of love for life thanks to jelly tots because believe you me even as an adult if you are off your tits in the right dimension of tongue palate presentation and you have a pack of jelly tots it's a glorious multicolored experience of sweet sweet glucose goodness for a, um, an ephemeral period of time for a quality price but enough of me and my knowledge of sweeties. The point is, I knew everything at the age of four, but I couldn't express it linguistically, as I've demonstrated in the aforementioned diatribe within the symposium and oratory to the knowledge and what it pervades to a man's psyche. You see, I am not stupid. I just knew everything, but didn't necessarily like wiping my own bottom. I didn't get to know how to wipe my own bottom when I, was early, when I was about two or three, because no one does that, right? But the reason no one does it is because mummy does it for you, right? So you just get used to it, don't you? you sit back as a baby and go, yeah, this is right. I just shout myself, but someone's come to clean it up. This is ace. I'm the king of the party. I've had someone wipe my arms, having shat myself. That is care in the community. Right? Brilliant. Okay, but then you get to a certain age and you shit yourself and you say, I'm shit myself. Clean it up, you lazy cunt. Right? And it gets nasty because you have to sh wipe your own bottom at a certain age. And you have to find a technique. Do you go from, be from the front or behind? Do you use paper or do you use a machine gun? I oh, no, no one uses a machine gun. <coughs> The realisation 
of the vector of this profundity is that civilization itself, in essence, was based in some part on preserving a woman's delicate need to pass her emotions in refinement and heavenly conditions. I mean, thankfully, not all the world live in grubby conditions of terrible poverty, where effluence and bacteria and diseases run havoc through towns of minimal fiscal outlay. But in brighter zones of highly intelligent utopian fields of forward-thinking genius, where cohesion of communities in good ideas and willingness to succeed in the betterment of a dream realised, in physical matter having been cogitated in the mind prior with a good designer and a team by which to create that dream in this western occidental world of many, many human dreams of wealth, goodness, gladness, success. Well then, no one's wiping your ass now, are they, kid? You're doing it yourself. You goddamn legend. You're doing it yourself, you're wiping your own ass. And you're doing shit, you're making stuff, you're creating stuff, you're working, you're helping the community. You're doing something awesome to make the world better. And that is great. And that's what I've been trying to say since age of four, mummy.